clean clubs, clean grips, clean shoes, clean golf. That's how I like to think about it. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna talk you through just how to keep your golf clubs and your golf shoes as clean as possible. I'll give you some do's and don'ts and some tips and tricks of this undervalued post-round routine. Okay, so before we start getting into the main clean here, I think one tip I want you to go away with is how you can keep your clubs clean on the course. One thing I like to do is with a fairly big towel like this, is wet one side of it with, with some water, only a little bit, like a corner of it, you can see I've done it here. Keep one side dry, and then after every shot, dab off with the wet side, dry them with the dry side. It keeps them nice and clean, especially on a muddy day. But every now and again, they're gonna get horrible and muddy. You might have forgot to clean them during the round or it was just that horrible out there. They're gonna need a full service. So let's go through that now. What do you need? Well, uh, a bucket or a sink uh, full of lukewarm, soapy water, not hot, not cold, lukewarm. Uh, a scrubbing brush of some kind. I like to use a little sort of dish one here. Again, clean, brand new there. A slightly more coarse one for grips. We'll come on to that in a minute. And then some sort of groove clean. I've got a pretty useful tool here for that. Um, so that's all you're gonna really need. And what I like to do is in that um, soapy, lukewarm water, is just soak the clubs for a little bit, about 10 minutes. Just your irons and wedges. I will not worry about soaking any rescues or fairway woods. That just helps loosen the dirt a little bit uh, as they're in there. So I've only done four for this time. But once they're nice and wet, take your light scrubbing brush. Like I said, this is a bit more of a dish scourer, but it's not too coarse. And just work your way gently over the iron. These are pretty clean already, actually, to be fair. But, you know, it's always good to give them once over. Um, and just work over the side, the grooves, the back. Now what I want to do is because these grooves have got particularly dirty, is just work it over with the groove clean. You can see because it's damp, all that mud's already coming out. That's the benefit of soaking them for 10 minutes. It should make your life a heck of a lot easier. So that's out of there. One more brush down there because the mud's come out. And then most importantly, dry them. Never, ever, ever, ever leave a wet golf club. They'll start, little specks of rust will start to appear. And that is the last thing that you want. So dry them with your towel and then leave them to rest. They'll dry nicely at, um, at room temperature. Really. Don't leave them anywhere cold and make sure they're dry. Grips. Now, um, again, these are pretty new and they're pretty clean, but it's the same process for the grips. I'm just going to use a slightly coarser brush for this one. So you can get it nice and wet. Get the coarser brush nice and wet. Again, this lukewarm soapy water does wonders. And just work your way up and down the grip. Don't have to be too aggressive with it. Keep it nice and gentle. And that should take any, you know, sweat sun cream, mud, any of that stuff that kind of comes out of there really easily and give them a really good dry. This is what gives uh, grips new life again, actually. It's giving them just a really good scrub. I'd recommend using a cleaner towel than I have. That's, that's poor from me. Clean utensils equal clean golf clubs. So that's the grips done now. Now you've got pretty much a brand new shiny looking club head and grip. One last tip I've got for grips, if they're really toward the end of their lifespan and you want to try and drag another six months or a year out of them, it's a little bit of sandpaper. Now, I'd keep this really light and make sure the sandpaper isn't too coarse, but if you rub this sandpaper really gently over the top of your grip, it'll just take away any really loose rubber or any shiny rubber um, and should give them a new lease of life, really. So give them that thing with the sandpaper, make sure to give them a really good scrub as well and it should bring them back to life. I just recommend being careful with this and not going too crazy with the sandpaper. But I think it's a really useful tip if the grips are right on the end of their life. And you don't fancy replacing them just yet, is to give them a good bit of sandpaper, a good clean, and a good scrub. It's easy as that, work your way through the set. Fairway woods, drivers, hybrids, I wouldn't bother soaking them. They don't really need quite as much dirt coming out of the grooves as your irons and wedges do. Uh, just dip it in the water, and use the, the fine sponge to give it a once over. One thing to remember when you're doing your hybrids, fairy woods drivers, is that there's a lot more sort of cavities in them, you know, where the adjustability might lie or where some screws are. So if you get any mud like this, I've clearly had a right hack at this, get a T-peg in there and it tends to fly out. Uh, give it a little once over. So remember that with your fairway woods, hybrids and drivers. Always dry the head, even more important on these and your putter so they don't go in that head cover wet and start to rust. 
Okay, let's talk about golf shoes. And much like golf clubs, it's always best to look after these just after you finish. It's the easiest time to get all the mud off. So once I've finished playing, I'll use again a clean sponge or a sort of dish cloth that's been slightly dampened with warm water just to run over, especially with white shoes, synthetic or leather ones, just to run over the tops of them, uh, get any excess mud off, and then they should stay cleaner for longer then. Um, the more persistent bits that tend to sit on this outsole, it's worth giving them a really good scrub, a little bit more focus maybe when you get back home. But the quicker you do it, the cleaner these are gonna look for longer. Uh, now mesh shoes are a little bit tricky. You can see an old pair we've got here where the white starts to fade and any sort of stains that get into them can often hang around for a while. Again, best to look after them as soon as you've finished. But a couple of tips and tricks for these um, is well, washing them for a start. You can wash mesh golf shoes on a very light, gentle wash, remove the laces, remove any insoles if they can come out as well and put them through on a really light wash. Before you do that though, you can give them a focused scrub with a brush like this. You could give a little go with something like some pre-wash stain remover that I've got here. Just dab it onto the areas that look like they'll be a little bit tougher to bring out. Or if you get an old toothbrush and some laundry detergent, um, you can very gently work on the slightly more stubborn areas. So work on that with your mesh shoes if you get some really persistent dirt in there. I've tried it before. As long as you keep a gentle wash, you're fine. Now, whenever you're drying golf shoes, always avoid drying them by a very hot radiator. Um, that can melt the glue that, that puts these outsoles together um, and the shoe can often get a bit sort of, I don't know, just a bit horrible there. Room temperature is absolutely fine. Uh, a little tip for drying them as well is to pop some, especially in these mesh shoes, is to pop a little bit of newspaper, scrunch up newspaper inside. That'll, that'll firstly absorb any loose water that's got into the, you know, the sole of the shoe and it'll help keep their um, shape as well as they dry. So never buy a radiator and use a little bit of newspaper. The outsoles, these are spikeless, but if you make sure to spray them off after every round, one of those air sprayer thingies you'll probably get by the locker room, that's always great. And with spike shoes, a great way to sort of rejuvenate their life and give them another couple of years is to replace the spikes. It's something not a lot of us, I think, take advantage of. 20 or 25 quid, spike remove them yourself. They'll give them a whole new lease of life and you'll really feel that grip. So some really easy and straightforward ways to keep these beautiful shoes nice and clean. So there you have it, my tips and tricks on how to keep your golf clubs, golf grips and shoes as clean as possible. Now it's really important we do this as much as we can. Uh, you know, performance from your golf club when they're clean, less flyers, more spin, especially with the grooves in your wedges. And keeping your grips nice and tacky should improve that feel when you're swinging the club. And with your shoes, keeping those outsoles as clear of mud and dirt as possible should give you better grip. Now, if you've got any tips and tricks uh, about how you clean your golf clubs, you know, some things passed down from people, some old wives tales on how to keep these things looking shiny, let me know. I'd love to hear from you and try them out for myself. But for now, from Northamptonshire County Golf Club, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>